The Modular Open Source Identity Platform, or MOSEP, an open source foundational identity platform developed by the International Institute of Information Technology, Bengaluru, has partnered with the National Civil Registration Authority of the Western African country of Sierra Leone to develop a digital ID pilot project on the lines of India Zadar. As many as six nations, including Sri Lanka, Morocco, the Philippines, Guinea, Ethiopia, and the Togolese Republic are already using the platform. Apart from these countries, Tunisia, Samoa, Uganda, and Nigeria have also expressed their willingness to adopt the Indian model. India's successful digital journey, from creating Adar, a unique digital identity that is accepted all across the country, to creating a wider set of open APIs called India Stack has ushered in a digital revolution around the globe. 80 million people in the world are now got their identity using MoSafe. And we are working with, uh, as of today, 11 countries. Five of them are uh, rolling out nationwide program and six are evaluating it in large pilot programs. And eventually, if all these 11 uh, adopt and everybody in those countries get MOSIP, based identity, it will be close to 400 million people. So it's a very, very large project. India Stack is a collection of open APIs and public goods that aim to make identity, data, and payments easy and viable for all. The primary components of the India Stack are a presenceless layer, a paperless layer, a faceless layer, and a consent layer. A successful example of India stack is that Indians completed over 8 billion UPI transactions to the tune of over 237 billion USD in January alone this year. India stack actually consists of many applications. You have Aadhaar, you have UPI, DigiLocker, Covin, number of them. Uh, it has been extremely successful in India. When the entire world was severely impacted by the economic headwinds caused by the COVID pandemic and exacerbated by disrupted supply chains, it was the India Stack technology that assisted India in preventing a critical situation from spiraling out of control and saving its poorest citizens by sending them both money and material without delay. Even the most developed of countries struggled to deliver essential food and medical supplies to their citizens during those days. Witnessing India's success, many countries have not only applauded India's staff, but have also expressed interest in acquiring the system themselves. There is a lot that we can learn one from another. Uh, uh, we are very impressed by what has been achieved in India with, uh, with the India stack and, uh, and uh, UPI. Digital Locker, another division of India stack, provides Indians with a paperless platform to protect their documents in a government supervised locker. While India stack was fundamentally created to benefit the citizens of India, the country, which runs on the core ideals of Vasudev Kutumbakum, the world is one family, never hesitated to share the technology with her global brethren. India stack is no longer exclusively available in India. As it describes itself, India stack is a collection of open APIs and a vision for the world. India has been generously assisting others in developing a similar platform for the social and financial inclusion of their citizens. Observers around the world believe that India will be the next digital leader. India has leveraged her ever-widening pool of tech-savvy talent to accomplish her ambitions. The world is counting on India to assist in achieving global digital goals, as well as paving the way for brand India to flourish further.